Hello my makeup loving friends, the holidays are well and truly over and we may have felt that we ate too much, we spent too much, but the cosmetics industry is here to remind us that there's even more things to buy because they were a little bit quiet over the Christmas. I still felt they were releasing a little bit too much. I'm like, we need a break. But they've come back and there's lots of things to discuss, so let's just get straight on into it. I don't think I properly talked about this last week, even though it is technically a last week's discussion, but I'm going to bring it up now. The new Glam Light Cake palette has been fully revealed. It's available for $40. And the girls on Beauty News were commenting that this does look an awful lot like the paint palette, which I do actually agree with. But I think in the same vein, they also said it does look like it's laid out a bit better. And again, I agree with that. I do really like the colour story in that. Like I do, do kind of want it, but... I have said I'm doing a low buy, so I'm only allowed to buy three um, cosmetic products a month. Apparently my hair is going everywhere. Um, so I'm trying to be really careful about what it is that I get. But that is available uh, now. As far as I know, the pre-orders will start shipping February 14th. So you can order it now. Um, this is a new palette by Sydney Grace Cosmetics. I later found out that apparently, now I haven't found the other... Um, image of this. But this apparently comes in like a light tone and then like a dark medium tone. Uh, it's very much a neutral palette but it's quite cool toned. That isn't necessarily for me. It is called the Enduring Love Palette and it is going to be launching, excuse me, from the 13th of January. So as I'm filming that is tomorrow because today is Sunday. I know my days of the week. Origins Cosmetics have come up with a new foundation. It is called their Pretty in Bloom Flower Infused Longwear Foundation with an SPF of 20. It is 38 US dollars and it's available now at origins.com in 30 shades. In addition to that, they also have their Lunar New Year release, which is their number one selling treatment lotion, but it comes in a limited edition gold packaging for the Lunar New Year. That is also available now if you want it. I've never heard of this brand. They are Beauty Creations Cosmetics. And when I saw this, it looked an awful lot like Charlotte Tilbury. I, d I don't know if you agree, but I thought the packaging looked an awful lot like Charlotte Tilbury's foundations. So they have a new Flawless Stay foundation. It is a medium to full coverage foundation with satin finish that's perfect for apparently both oily and dry skin. This foundation is available in 24 shades and lasts up to 18 hours. And it was available from January 9th for $12. So that's quite, that's quite good. I don't know if anyone's tried any of their products. Will you let me know? I'd like to know. I'm nosy. Um, Bite Beauty are apparently now completely vegan uh, in 2020 and they have some new upcoming launches. So they have their Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation in 32 shades for $39.50. I'm a bit confused about the whole micellar thing because micellar is meant to basically stop things from mixing so I'm a bit confused as to how that would work in foundation uh, but I don't really know enough about you know the, the formulation of cosmetics to jump in on that but it seemed a bit weird. Uh, the Change Maker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder in 8 shades for $36. The Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer for $38. And they have them for normal to dry skin and for normal to oily skin. And they also have the Agave Plus Intensive Lip Mask for $26. And it comes in the shades Agave, which is clear, and Buzzed, which is a rose gold pearl. And in addition to that, they have a Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon for $24 US dollars, and it comes in, oh god, it's like 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 8, 20 shades. Probably should have counted that beforehand. Um, and they've only kind of given a picture of four of the shades. I have gone on a little bit of a binge in terms of lip colours, so that I am interested in that, but also low buy. So... Sorry, difficult, but that is available now. Um, it launched on the 10th of January. I talked a bit about this. It's the uh, Pinky Rose uh, Cosmetics and Riley Rose collaboration. It is the Stormy palette. So they had just kind of said, hey, we're collaborating, but now we have a look as to what the palette actually looks like. It includes 10 different shades. The top row has sparkly shimmery shades and the bottom row has matte bright shades. It is limited edition and it is $27 and it's already available. I'm personally not getting it, but I do like the Pinky Rose formula. I think they're very good. Um, Elf Cosmetics has more things. So last week we were talking about how they were expanding upon their um, putty primers. They had the matte and they had the luminous, but now they have their putty eye primer. 
so again, I think this is quite smart because they're going along with the stuff that has worked for them. So I, I think it's quite good. So they have, uh, it's apparently infused with vegan squalene to help moisturize the eyelid while extending wear. And they come in different shades. So they have white, which apparently intensifies brights, cream, which adds depth and color corrects, rose, which again adds depth and color corrects, sand, which adds depth, clay, which adds depth, depth, words are hard, and helps create a smoky effect in black, which adds depth and dimension and helps create a smoky effect. And they're available now for $5. So I think that's quite cool. I'd like to see what people think of those. But I already have like loads of um, like concealers, etc. that I'm attempting to pan to use as eye things. Uh, but they also came out with these and I did do a little bit of a double take because these are so my colours. They have their bite size eyeshadow in eight different palettes for three dollars each. Now, I don't know, I've never tried the e.l.f. formula, so it may be just that the colours look amazing and then they look awful on the eyes or, you know, your skin might react weirdly to them. I'm just saying, like it's a hypothetical, and I'm not saying that they would do that, but they come in eight different palettes. There's cream and sugar, berry bat, truffles, rose water, carnival candy, pumpkin pie, acai-u, acai, acai sorry, Jesus, hot jalapeno. The yellow and green one is the one that I'm kind of going... And I also like the bluey lilac y one. I think that is gorgeous. I want to see how they perform on people's eyes before I would spend on that. I know it's only $3, but I'm a low buy. So, you know, I'm trying to be a better person. Makeup and Murder has revamped their packaging for their poison pigments. So they are still the same thing. They just come in glass and silicone packaging. Um, and you can apparently buy the containers for $3. So that's there. Tom Ford has released five new eye quads. They are so expensive. They are $88 each. They come in Noir Foom, Arabesque, Mink Mirage, Sous Le Sable, and De La Creme. Very sorry if I've mispronounced them. I am not French. I am super, super Irish. Um, all of those look very similar to me. I go a bit like neutral blind. Like, I know that other people look at my palettes and they're like, you have that shade of green several times. And I'm like, no, that's different because that's matte and that's a shimmer and that's a satin and that's a glitter and that's a blah, 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 whatever. Um, so I can see the variety in colours, but I just can't seem to see it in neutrals. So I'm sure there are differences. I'm just a bit blind to it. I do think $88 is just a ridiculous price, though, for four eyeshadows. Like, that's $22. That's that. Mm. It would want to be an insanely good formula. That's all I'm saying. I thought this was really cute. Estee Lauder is doing a collaboration with Danielle Lauder, who is, I believe, the great granddaughter of Estee Lauder. It is their Act Four collaboration. I think it it looks really cute. It's not my aesthetic, but I think it's it's quite cute. They have a spotlight highlighter, highlighter which is $54. It's a starlit blend of dreamy, gleamy hues in one creamy powder formula. They have the best picture multi-look palette for $54. They say that these matte and shimmer formulas will let you role play with multiple looks for custom eyes, sculpted cheeks and more. They have the party puff which is a star loosened filtered powder for $54 which is a perfecting loose powder which gives skin sheer lasting radiance and soft glowing finish. They also have the cinematic complexion liquid for $60, which is a matte creme primer. It uh, blurs, pores, hides flaws and fills in lines. I would like a nice primer because the primer I'm using right now is trash, but it's in my project pan. Project pan? Project pan, not project pan. Sunday is not going well. They also have the Luxe Lip Creme for $44 in Real Coral and Real Rose. They have the Lip Duet, uh, which comes with a tint and a balm for $50. My Lord, so expensive. A uh, Costume Duo with Moisturizing Balm and Sheer Tint, and they have the Brushed by Fame Makeup Brush Kit for $85. I won't be picking up any of that because <laughs> I just don't have the money and I'm on my low buy. This annoyed me. This genuinely annoyed me. Okay. So Revolution Skincare have their new Face Off Sparkle Peel Off Face Mask. It contains plastic free glitter and they say this sparkling treatment will help to exfoliate. Oh it will. If there's glitter it will scrape your skin off. It won't exfoliate you. It will just 
scar you. And Hydrate was looking dazzling in the process and it comes in three different styles. It's holographic pink and gold and they're available for £6, €7.99 and $9 each. I don't often tell you guys what to buy or not buy but for the love of God please do not buy this. This, no, don't buy skincare that has glitter in it. It's not, it's not good. Run away, run away, swipe left, swipe left. No, run. Not good. That, that, that really genuinely... Me. Uh, Makeup Revolution have some new palettes because of course they do. They have their new Forever Flawless palettes. They have the Birds of Paradise which they say feel exotic with the array uh, shades full of colour from this palette which doesn't really make a huge amount of sense. And they also have the Showstopper which is a beautiful combination of creamy mauve pink and purple shades. They're available for £10, €11.99 or $15 each. I do quite like the Birds of Paradise one that looks quite cute and then the Showstopper one reminds me of a couple of different palettes that I have so I'm kind of like no I'm okay. It kind of reminds me like a little bit of the Norvina palette with bits of like modern renaissance or something i don't know what it is uh mary lee scott cosmetics have also come up with a new highlighter palette um it's the your highlighter is too bright palette it looks really cute like the swatches look really nice i really like the green i would use that on, on my eyeballs um, I do like that. That's, I mean, fair play. That looks cool. Shant Kai have revealed their Spring 2020 collection and my lord, is it expensive? But the packaging is adorable. Um, the Eye Quartet, it's the Hummingbird Eye Quar Quartet in the shade Warm. It's $72. That's not interesting to me. It, it, it's not, it's not for me. Those aren't really the colours I wear, but I am going to try and re-explore some neutral palettes that I have because as I'm on a low buy, I want to do a re-exploring my collection and just use one brand for a month and maybe do a video on some of the looks that I have and I have a ridiculous amount of Urban Decay. I was thinking of using just their Naked collection for like a few weeks. Let me know what you guys think. Would you like that? No? Yes? Oh, what do you think? They also have the, Shanta Kai I mean, also have the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder for $80. They say it's an ultra fine instant blur powder that smooths and perfects the complexion. Now, I was watching Teresa is Dead last night. She is awesome. <laughs> She's a, a much better Teresa than me. Uh, and she was doing her um, nonsense new makeup releases bingo and she was drinking. Um, I don't drink, but I find it very funny to watch other people drink. And um, she ended up buying this while she was semi drunk. And I was like, <laughs> these, I make these purchasing decisions when I'm sober. I'm an idiot. But she did say that she really liked the Chantecai blurring powder and I'd kind of trust what she has to say. Um, we have a new something from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now they have launched a statement to say that they won't be coming out with any more palettes until holiday of 2020. So we're safe for another few months. In saying that, they've come out with their new Amrezy palette. So in, normally with their palettes, they have 14 shades. This time they have 16 shades, but they have two pressed glitters. And I mean, people were annoyed with Colourpop over the pressed glitters. I can't imagine how people are going to feel about this. Uh, it's $49. Uh, it's launching on the 14th of January. Um, there are shades from this, and I know other people have said this, that if you have the Riviera palette, if you have the Modern Renaissance palette, if you have the Soft Glam palette, you don't need this. There are these exact shades in it. So I am rather comfortably passing on this. I'm like, this low buy is going well, pat on back. Uh, it's not for me, but I'd like to know what you guys think. It feels a little bit like ABH have kind of fallen off a little bit of a perch. Like this time last year, everyone was like, ABH, they can do no wrong. Um, and I have an awful lot of their products. I think the only one I don't have is a Carly Bible one because I was like, that's not for me. Oh, and the Sultry palette. I also didn't get the Sultry palette, but I have most of the other things. Um, Huda has come out with a new Kayali fragrance. It is the Deja Vu White Flower. Uh, it's $85 for a 50ml or $118 for a 100ml. And that's available right now. They say, um, in terms of the fragrance layering, because they're talking about the design, but I'm like, who cares about the design? Is it not about the, mm, the fragrance? They say, spray scents in order of intensity so they don't get overpowered. Stronger scents first and lighter ones last. 
I have no idea what that means. So I, I don't even know what it smells like, but it's too rich for my blood. They've also come out with some new shades of their matte metal melted double-ended eyeshadows by Huda. Um, the pink and the purple ones are quite interesting to me, but I know if I got these, I wouldn't use them. I'm really bad for if I get single products, but I don't use them. So like I have loads of like single pots of eyeshadows and they're just left there. I also have loads of liquid eyeshadows that I haven't used. I still have to do more like filming first impressions like of maybe a, a, a whole face again. So it's a whole thing. But they have their request line in slow jams. It's a cool toned mauve pink shade with cool bronzy rose gold shimmer. They have the French lace and diamond drip which is a dusty pastel lavender shade with pink undertones with a lilac shimmer. They have the cashmere robe and penthouse suite which is a smoky olive taupe shade with a cool toned antique gold shimmer shade. The cinnamon toast and hella honey. A warm spicy brown matte with fiery burnished copper shimmer with warm gold glitters and VI pink and million dollar deals which a plum pink with warm rosy undertones paired with a warm berry pink shimmer with silver and magenta glitters and they are coming soon so we've no exact date but there they are if you're interested I won't be picking those up. Lawless Beauty are coming out with some new lipsticks it's um, their Satin Luxe Classic Cream Lipsticks. They come in the shades Platinum which is an ultra pale pinky beige, Annie a light peachy nude, Child a light beige nude, Wedding Day a soft pinky nude, Fawn a warm honey nude, Suede neutral grazy nude, 90s a warm rosy brown and Saddle which is a rich fudgy brown and they're going to be available from January 14th. None of them are interesting to me based upon the swatches. I don't think any of those would suit me which is fine. Not everything can suit me. Um, Herbivore Botanicals have come out with a new skincare. It is their Prism. It is 20% AHA and 5% BHA exfoliating glow facial. It is apparently a facial treatment that transforms skin to look radiant and bright with a potent blend of 20% fruit based AHAs and 5% BHAs for $58. I mean if it has that blend of things it does sound good. I'd like to see what the story is there. Twilight Garden Wax have uh, some new wax melts and they released on Friday so if you want to have a little look at those be a bit indulgent you know we're, we're very tough on ourselves in January don't be afraid to engage in a bit of self-love and some wax melts can be nice for that when you're sitting and drinking hot chocolate or wine or whatever uh, or tea if you're me and reading a book or attempting to read a book while a cat tries to flip it out of your arms I may have given up too much about my life. Jouer have released a new concealer, or well not released, they've revealed it. It's the Essential High Coverage Concealer Pen. This kind of, I don't want to say it annoys me, but I'm like, a pen? That's, so you're going to have to apply it, but then the pen is going to get dirty and then, I, I, I don't know, maybe that's just me being a bit ridiculous. Because I mean, doe foots are fine. This is probably just me being silly and pedantic. Um, that is going to be available from January 16th on Jume Cosmetics. So if you want to get that, have a little look. Colourpop, of course, have 5 million different things. They have their No Filter collection with three new shades of the loose setting powder. So it comes in peach, soft pink and translucent caramel. And they're available now with the existing shades for $9. In addition to that, they also have their mint collection. They have the Mint to Be eyeshadow palette for $12. I don't think there's any pressed glitter in that, so... Well done, Colourpop. They also have the Super Shock Shadow for $6 each in the shades Mint For You and Flux. They have the Glitterly Obsessed um, uh, glitters, which I really enjoy and I really like those colours. They look nice. They're $8 each and they come in the shades Mint Condition and Fresher Thank You. And they have the Matcha Love Set for $14, which is already, like, that's an older release but it's their fourth ray matcha face milk and lippy scrub and they are already available if you want to have a little gawk at them um i shared this on my uh, instagram i reshared it because i think this is fabulous we all know that the wildfires are going on in australia and it's it's scary like let's let's be real so clean and cosmetics have revealed a koala charity trio so these three single shadows are going to be launching on january 21st at 4 p.m eastern standard time for 21 Canadian Canadian dollars, so that's about 16 US dollars, that'd be about 14-ish euros. It's a really good price. And 100% of the proceeds will be donated to the Wires Wildlife Rescue Emergency Fund to benefit the wildlife affected by the Australian bushfires. 
not gonna lie I kind of want to get it um do you know I think the shades aren't wildly interesting to me but because it's doing they're doing what they're doing I'm like I think I will get them but I'm not sure I'm like maybe I should just donate my money I, I don't know but I uh, well done Kina Cosmetics that is just that is bomb well done you I, I love that um Sigma Beauty are coming out with two new brushes they are launching on the 14th of January so one looks to be a shader brush and one looks to be sort of like a like a liner brush or something? I don't know, I can't really tell. But in addition to that, the Trend Mood, Bo Trend Mood Box is coming out. Uh, by the way, it has that new For Sally item in it. There's something from Dominique Cosmetics and um, oh, there's some other skincare thing, but they also have this um, eye trio. So it has three eye brushes. They have the E25 blending brush, the E30 pencil brush, and the E35 taper blending brush. I mean, I love all of those brushes. I use them on a fairly regular basis. So I, I think that's worth getting. Well done, Trend Move. That's smart. Be, for, Be Perfect Cosmetics have launched their Indestructible Brow Pencil. And it comes in four colours. It comes in brown, dark brown, irid brown, and charcoal. And they're available now on Be Perfect Cosmetics for £7.99. They say they're smudge-proof, sweat-proof, and life-proof. Well, there you go. It's apparently a 24 hour budge proof formula. I don't know who needs to keep their brows on for 24 hours, but it's the sort of thing I like. It has the spoolie, it has the pencil. I'm fairly minimum effort with my brows because I'm lazy. But I mean, that looks good. Tati had been hinting at this for quite some time. Everyone was like, well, what's her new product gonna be? It is the Blendy Full. The bag contains uh, two different sizes of um, kind of like Blendy powder things for $18 and uh, her new her eyeshadow palette has also been restocked that's available now I think that's quite smart she loves that sort of thing so I think it makes an awful lot of sense for her uh, haunting beauty shop are coming out with a new grey liquid lipstick called crypt and I really like that I really quite, I'm gravitating a lot towards these colours at the moment. Hourglass Cosmetics have launched their annual Valentine's Day themed Confession Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipstick Duos. They come in the shade Only You, which is a tawny brick with a satin finish, and I Hope We, which is a deep blue pink with a satin finish, and they're available now for 72 US dollars. Um, I'm okay for those, but they, they do look nice. Sick Wix has a new collection inspired by the movie Legend, which, you know, if you're into the 80s films, you'll know what that is. So they're available in candles and body sprays if you're interested. Kiko Milano have come out with a magnetic attraction Valentine's Day collection, so it seems to have some highlighters, blush, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, and an eyeshadow palette if you are interested. Morphe brushes were um, sneak peeking this for a while they and I was like oh whatever uh, but the palette has kind of made me do a little bit of a double take. Uh, it is the 35 i uh, so 35 i the icy fantasy for $25. It is 35 shades of matte shimmer and iridescent shades plus silk slip toppers and a touch of glitter and I really like the colour story in that. It appeals to me, I do, I like that colour story. They also have their Pop of Pastel Lipstick Trio for $18. All three shades of a matte finish and are inspired by uh, Beauty at Pony's Makeup. And they come in the shades Wonder, Charisma and Mystify and they are launching on January 16th. By Terry have also launched their new limited edition uh, Terry Blee Paris um, collection. Or Terry Blee? I don't know. Uh, so they have their VIP Expert Paris by Night palette for $49, their VIP Expert Paris by Light palette for $49, the Hyaluronic Hydro Powder for $46, and their Lash Expert Twist Brush for $27.50, and that's available now. Now we are on to some sneak peeks, so we are gonna run through those. Luxy Beauty seem to be coming out with something new. It looks like it's new eyeshadows, hooray. Uh, Alien Cosmetics are releasing some new uh, cruelty-free brushes, the handles. I couldn't get a picture of that, but they're kind of, um, I don't want to say plastic, but they're transparent and you can see sort of glittery flecks through them. They look really cute. Uh, Makeup Geek are, of course, rebranding. It seems that they're starting off with some neutrals. Eh, whatever. I mean... I hope it all goes really well. The rebrand is happening January 17th. Dandelions Cosmetics have given us a sneak peek at two of their five new shades. Um, they look really cute. Um, Sparrow Cosmetics are coming out with an even star blush, not brush. Uh, the collection is coming March 13th. 
and I was more attracted to the nail polish than I was to the to the blush but I wouldn't wear a purple blush myself that's just how it is Shroud Cosmetics have given us a sneak peek so it looks like it's either a pressed glitter or an incredibly glittery eyeshadow and finally Dominique Cosmetics have basically hinted something new is coming from them on the 24th of January I'm assuming it's some sort of coffee themed eyeshadow palette with those shades I don't think that's too much of a an out there bet so that is it that is everything that has released in the last eight days let me know what you guys think feel free to like comment subscribe all that general jazz you can find me on social media I am on Twitter I'm on Instagram feel free to say hello feel free to comment it's nice um, and I will see you guys in the next video bye